Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I will be doing my fourth episode of my Lip Swatch series I have here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and link the playlist above. Today I am going to be doing my entire collection of ColourPop lip items, excluding their lip liners. I will not be doing those. If you guys want a swatch of those, go ahead and comment below and I can get one up for you. But to make this video not three hours long, I'm only going to do the lip items. So lip glosses, satins, mattes, all that good stuff. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so I am going to be swatching all of my lip items from ColourPop. If you have noticed, I really don't have any makeup on. I did kind of like that no makeup makeup look that I did a video and tutorial for. I'll go ahead and link that above for you. Um, just to give me like some color and not look like a miserable or dying and all that other stuff, tired, everything else that we are. <laughs> so today, the reason that I don't wear the makeup is because wiping all the swatches Putting them back on, I'm also taking off my foundation and my highlighter and my powder and I just wind up having to do that and it irritates my skin really bad so bear with me. Um, if you don't like that I don't have foundation on, don't watch the rest of this video. If you don't mind, we're going to zoom you guys in so you can have a closer look. I'm going to start with the So Juicy line. I do have all of them unless they've made more since their original launch. So there are 20 of these. We're going to start. I'm going to swatch them and I will show you them on my lips. All right, so this is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. And the first one we have is Type of Way. Although they do have a tint to them, they do remotely just come off clear um, with just a slight tint. Uh, you'll see what I mean as I go through, but this one, like if you look here, it looks like it's really colorful and really pigmented, but it does blend very well with my lips. Also, another thing is they are minty. Um, I guess that's what gives it the plumping um, effect. I'm not a big fan of the mint smell, but it isn't terrible. Okay, and the next one is Beechwood. And then we have QT. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does have almost like an iridescent color to it. So it is like a peachy color, but when it shifts, it almost shifts purple to pink. It just has that slight, like almost oil slick effect. I don't know if it's pulling on camera, but I love this one. Okay, and then there is Stunton Audis. I believe that's what it says. And then we have a roundabout. Now, I do want to show you this real quick. If you look, these have slightly separated. I don't know if you can see it right here. So just make sure if they're just sitting that you are squeezing them to mix up all the good stuff. Ooh, and then we have Partly Rowdy, which has lots of glitter in it. And again, this does give more of a shine because it has glitter pieces, and it is also a tad thicker. It's not as runny as the other ones, and I kind of like that. Chinchilla. Whoa. Look at the discoloration in Chinchilla. Why does it look like that? And... I'm not really sure what's going on with this color. It's like it wants to be a peach, but at the same time is giving me some pink colors. Um, and also the tip of the tube is hot pink. So I'm not really certain why it's like that, but it's not coming out pink. So that's really weird to me. Um, I wonder if because it's been sitting there. Va va boom. And this one also has a bunch of glitter in it, so it looks really, really pretty on the lips. I wish I would have wore these more during the summer, because these are actually fantastic. So I'm going to start now, until the end of summer. This one is True Life. Um, not the biggest fan. <laughs> it's the most pigmented one so far, but it's like in the worst possible way. Like it looks like my lips are just fading into my skin. Like it's just not, it's not a good look for me. And also this one is a lot thicker too, but it doesn't have as much glitter. So it's kind of weird. For the Clout. And this one is For the Clout. Is all talk. 
We are gonna skip this one. It is princess cut. It's literally, it's just a clear gloss. So she's here in the cut is a habit. This is dress code. Smack that. This one is make it savvy. And the last one is intersection. All right, so I have two different kinds of lipsticks I wanna swatch for you. I have the Luxe lipsticks and then the Billing Collection. Here goes. So the first one I am doing is Dr. Facilia Maleficent. Cruella. And then this is Ursula. Evil Queen. Do not mind the slip swatch. These are a little bit dry. And the last one from the Villain Collection is Hades. I honestly think this is my favorite one. It's such a pretty color. All right, we're gonna go into the Lux Collection. All right, and this one is Creme Fresh. This one is Hey Mr. DJ. And that is Hey Mr. DJ. These are a little bit dry too, but they're actually way more comfortable. And it's like a creamy dry. It's hard to explain. Okay, and I don't know if I told you, this one is Lucky Strike, but these are the Velvet Lux. So I know that I think the Lux are matte. These are Velvet. That's why they're a little bit more smooth. Mesmerize. Y2K. 21 Questions. K-Bop. Solo. This one is Super Bloom. This is all T. These kind of remind me of the Kylie Cosmetics, um, the blush, the lip blush that I didn't like in her um, Under the Sea collection, but these are better. Like they're in a tube, so they're easier, and they're 100% not as dry as those. So these are definitely an all day wearable thing. We have Sphinx. This one is Fake Love. And then we have Sorry Not Sorry. This is CA Love. Okay, and this one is Vignette. And the last one in this collection is Alchemist. This one is a tad patchy. It's just because it's that deep purple. Um, a lot of the times they can be very patchy. They're hard to perfect. So let's move on to the other ones. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, I believe the only three metallics that I have and it is the color Zebra. And this is Three Way. And although these are very pretty, I feel like they're just not my go-to formula. Not for ColourPop, not for Kylie, not for any of them. I'm just not a metallic lipstick kind of gal. So if you like metallic, they are very subtle yet very pretty. It does look shimmery, but like have that dark color. And the feeling is nice just not really into this formula and that is man eater and this is Miha from the Becky G collection and this is Chola from the Becky G collection and this is little one from the Zoella and Colourpop collab this is at me and this is the self-love club from the Zoella and Colourpop collab and this is Dulcet from the I Love Sarahi collab. Okay, and this is Sueño de Coco from the I Love Sarahi collab. Hopefully I said that correct. And this is Wig from the Bretman Rock and Colourpop collab. And this is She Cute by the Bretman collab. Hmm, that's good. And this is Lucky Star from the Kathleen Lights collab. I do not know which one. But, oh, <laughs> twinkling lights. Fantastic, it's on the tube, Jamie. I actually prefer their satin over their mattes because it's just more comfortable to wear. And this one is Lucky Star from the Kathleen Lights Club. This is in Rouge 
This is the Karouche and Colourpop collab. This is, first of all, London Fog. And this is Finders Keepers. And that was actually a gloss. It got mixed in with my liquid lips. And this is Slide. And this is Mess Around. And this is What's the Stitch. And this is Magic Wand. And that is Tansy. And then we have Panda, which is one of my favorite colors from ColourPop's collections. And I believe this is a satin. It rubbed off, so I'm not really certain. But I absolutely love the color. I love the undertone of the pink. And yet the purple, it's not too crazy. You could definitely wear this just out. It's just stunning, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Villain lip glosses ultra glossy lips and this is hot headed which is from the Hades one I believe and then my pet these are really pretty I love the villain glosses and that is shadow man which is I want to say it's like a maroon shift but then also has like a green gold shift which I am liking it just reminds me of a metallic lip so I don't really care for metallic lips like I said before but I do think that this is a pretty cool lip gloss and this is bad apple and this is puppies All right now I am done with the villain ones we're gonna move on to other lip glosses and I have glitter all over my face fantastic and this is just surfed which is just a bronze glitter color and I kind of like it and that is dust to dust and this is Kumquat from the Wet Collection with Bretman Rock. And this is Finesse. It does have shifts of blue in it, but it basically just comes off clear. But there are just sparkles of blue. And I have this one, which is Girl, but I didn't swatch it because they look identical. But I'm pretty sure Girl has like light shifts of purple, but again, comes off clear. So I didn't swatch that one. And this is I See You from the Lit Collection with Bretman Rock. It's just a simple gold. This is Verbatim. And then you have Glass Lip from the I Love Sarahi Collection. We have Neat Freak, which is by Shayla and ColourPop, which is actually one of my favorite lip glosses from them, simply because the color is very pretty, but it also has a doe foot instead of a brush applicator, which I prefer for the glosses. And then you have Tight Fit. I'm down to the last three and this one is dreamaholic this one definitely reminds me of like an oil slick because it shifts with like blues and greens and blue and purple I just want to give you that if you can see that but it's so pretty I love this color and this one is paper moon this is so pretty and I really am going to keep this on the top of my makeup stand because I wish I had grabbed for it more. It definitely has a pink orange like coral undertone but has like just light shimmers of gold and it's so stunning and I think it'll look really good for the rest of the summer. And last but not least, and the last one we have is Head in the Clouds. It is a very pretty pink. And it just has darker shiny pink sparkles in it and I think it's so freaking pretty and that is it so let me zoom you out and we'll close up this video all right guys that is it for my entire ColourPop collection swatch I hope you liked it I hope that ripping my lips off over and over was pleasant and you had fun watching because it was miserable. No, I'm kidding. I had a lot of fun playing with makeup, guys. I hope you really liked it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. However, if you did make it to the end, I would like to announce I am doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and it will be a $50 Ulta gift card. All you have to do is be subscribed, like this video, and comment down below what your favorite shade of ColourPop lip item was. All right, and it's going to end on the 31st of August, and then I will announce it on my next video after that. So just, again, make sure you're subscribed, you like this video, and you comment your favorite lip item down below. As always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.